Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see restore sequence question that came in Code Chef November Long Challenge. Uh, but before starting the explanation of the question, I want to tell you that if you have not tried this question till now, just go and try once. And if you have tried this question and was not able to understand the question or approach that how to solve this question, just follow this video. Uh, in this video, firstly, I will explain you the whole question. Then I will tell you the logic or approach that you can build to solve this question. And afterwards, I will also show you the implementation for this question. Okay, now let's start uh, with reading the question. Lies has very complex machine when fed with a sequence A1, A2 and AM. There will be a sequence or you can say an array from A1 consisting of elements from A1 to AM. Okay. It produces a sequence B1 to Bn. So if uh, this B1 to Bn will be related somehow related to this A1 to An. Now how it will be related? Let's see further. Where for each valid i, Bi is the largest index J such that Ai divides Aj. Now what this uh, point is saying that if we have sequence A, suppose it is uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8. This is the sequence and this is A1, this is your A2, this is your A3, A4, A5. Now, it is what is saying that B1 will be where, where each for each valid i, Bi is the largest index J such that Ai divides Aj. So, B1 will be largest index J index. It is index, index is 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. So in B, we will store the index. This is clear. Now that AI divides AJ, that is the largest index. So AI also divides this, so 2 also divides this 4. So it can be 2, 2 also divides 6, it can be 4, 2 also divides 8, it can be 5. So we have got 1, 4, 5. Then now out of which, what will be B1? B1 will be 5. Why? Because we want largest index. It is written that we want largest index such that AI divides. So in B1, we will store 5. Similarly, in B2 also, we will store 5. Because uh, for 8 is, uh, sorry, 5th index is the largest index that A2 is dividing. So we will also be, uh, store in B2, 5. And in B3, is 5 dividing any element? No, it is not. So B3 will store itself. It is 3 because an integer will always uh, divide itself. So it can. So that's why it is written that since AI divides itself, such an index always exists. Okay, this is the meaning of this line. And now this is the example given. Now, now let's read the further the question that Alice gave you a sequence B that was produced by a machine. Find an integer sequence A such that when it is fed into the machine, then the machine produces the sequence B. Now, instead of the sequence A, we have been given the sequence B. Okay, let's complete this sequence. If B4, what will be B4 here? 6 is dividing anything? No. So 6, the, it will be 4 only. B5. 8 is dividing anything? No. So it will, 5 be, it will be 5 only. Now, suppose we have been given 5, 5, 3, 4, 5. This is the sequence B. This, this is what question is saying that we will be given. Now, using this, we need to find this A sequence. Now, this is the question. This is what the question is saying that using these uh, indexes, we have to find that A sequence. Now, if there is possibility that there can be more than one answer for this question, it's not mandatory that there will be only one sequence. There can be more than one answer for this question. And constraints, when you will see the constraints, that it is also written that here in the output section, just see that if there are multiple solutions, you may print any of them. So it is guaranteed that at least one solution exists. Okay. So there will be always a solution. And you can see that there are two subtasks given. In this subtask one, B1, B2, Bn are pairwise distinct. And subtask two original constraint that is bi is from 1 to n that is your index only so and n is from uh, 1 to 10 power 5 so in this we have to solve this question in o of n or o of n log n okay now we can use this subtask one when we will when we are able to solve this subtask one we will be automatically able to solve this subtask two we will uh, observe something now let's see let's uh, see some examples due to uh, 
let's see some example uh, which will help us or which will le lead us to solve this subtask one and using that we can solve the subtask two also okay so now in further video i will explain you the approach to solve this question okay now here given in for subtask one b1 to b and a pairwise distinct now what is the meaning of pairwise distinct pairwise distinct is nothing that all pairs will be different okay that is uh, index 1 2 3 4 5 if n is equal to 5 then this can be our sequence according to subtask 1 no value will repeat no value will repeat there can be no 2 1 or no 2 2 but all pairs are different that's why all value will not repeat and this is the all, every element will be unique in itself and uh, the, the constant of b is from 1 to n only because it's storing the index so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 if n is equal to 5 it can be also it's not necessary that the sequence is from beginning from 1 only and ending at 5 it can be also 2 1 3 4 5 it can be also 3 2 1 4 5 it can be also 5 4 3 1 2 which the the sequence which give us the valid answer it will be valid okay now let's see the this sequence let's see the solution for this sequence suppose this is the b now we want to get our a okay b1 is equal to 1 this means that highest index that a1 can divide is 1 so that is the highest index that it can divide is itself only so let's take it 2 okay i will tell you the reason why, why i am taking 2 now b2 is equal to 2 so highest index that a2 can divide is 2 only so let's take it 3 why i am not taking 4 here just think on it that because highest index that 2 can divide it's 2 itself only if i will take 4 here then highest index will become 2 that's why and b1 will be equal to 2 then then this answer will be wrong this sequence will become wrong that's why i'm taking a2 is equal to 3 okay now take b3 is equal to 3 so a3 what will be the value of a3 now if i take 4 here then again the same problem that a1 will divide it if i take 5 here is anything is dividing it no it is not dividing anything is not dividing so a3 will be equal 5 b4 b4 is equal to 4 then what will be a4 if i take 6 it is getting divided by 2 also 3 also if it gets divided by 2 and 3 then their b1 and b2 will get changed that's why i have to we cannot take 6 here what we will take we will take 7 because 7 is not getting divided by anything p5 5 that means that a5 the highest integer highest index that a5 can divide is 5 that is itself only so can we take 8 no it is getting divided 8 is getting divided so i cannot take it 9 9 is getting divided by 3 i cannot take 10 10 is getting divided by 5 i cannot take uh, and 11 11 is not getting divided so i can take 11 okay now in beginning i have told you that why i have not started from 1 just think on it that why i have not started from 1 because if i will take a1 is equal to 1 1 can divide any element so it will be not valid the b1 cannot be 1 then then highest index will be always the last element so highest index will be always n so to avoid that thing i have taken a1 is equal to 2 okay i want you to just pause the video for a few seconds and just observe something from here that what we are storing in our next value just observe just try to observe something from here that what we are storing from our next value okay just pause the video and think i hope you would have thought the logic the observation that i was expecting that we are just storing the prime numbers we are what are these one two uh, sorry two three five seven eleven what are these two three five seven eleven they are just prime numbers that they are not repeating what are prime numbers that they uh, divide themselves or they are getting divisible only by one okay so that is what we are storing let's verify these things with the help of uh, this example that was given in the uh, sample disk case also okay now here a1 i am putting 2 okay now if a1 is equal to 2 okay now a2 i am putting next prime number and what is a2 uh, what is the next prime number that i can get uh, the next prime number that i can get is 3 so i will put 3 
a3 the next prime number that i can get is uh, 5 then i will put 5 here a4 next prime number that i can get is 7 i will put 7 here ne a5 next prime number i can get is 11 but will we put 11 here just think on it will we put 11 here we will not why because this a1 this a1 was the highest integer that it was dividing was 5 was uh, highest index sorry it was which it was dividing was 5 and 11 cannot get divided by 2 okay so in this case what we will do in this case we will simply do we will also store 2 at a of b1 you can say that a of b1 will be also equal to 2 so this will be equal to 2 and we will store next prime number only when a is empty a is no a is not equal to any number a is zero okay so you can think here you can make the logic here that if a of i is zero okay then what we will put in a of i we will put the next prime number initially a will be zero 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. And in this, I will put the next prime number. Suppose P is equal to 2 and we will calculate if P is equal to 1, sorry. We will calculate the prime number after 1. So, it will be 2. So, in this AI equals 2, it will be stored 2. Now, we will calculate again for the next prime number and we will store in P. Okay. Now, at A of B of I, we will also store this A of I. Why? The, to avoid this case that we are doing here just notice here that what we are doing here at a of b of i will be also same equals to a of i so this was the only logic in this program in this question the only logic that we have to store the next prime number if a of i is zero and this will pass your both subtask one also subtask two also that's why i have told you that go for subtask one there you will get some observation that you can use in subtask two also and using that you can solve the question that what i have done here that i have used only the next prime number and how to calculate next prime number i will also show you that in implementation part okay this was the only observation that we have to make okay now let's see the implementation for this uh, restore question okay here i have written uh, firstly i am taking the test case input then i am taking input in n that is the number of sequence okay and this is the prerequisite of this question that prime number you should know that how to find the prime number that i have written here uh, that uh, what will be the function to calculate the prime number the next prime number if we got uh, 2 then what will be the next prime number after 2 if we got 3 then what will be the next prime number after 3 this function will return next prime will return that thing only okay now let's take the input of b int b equals to new int n that is of b of size n and in b sequence b is given to us so we will take just its input okay now what we need to calculate we need to calculate sequence a that's why i am writing this a okay now why i am taking this p i will tell you later now i will traverse in this n from 0 to n and in d variable i'm just storing this uh, b of i that highest index uh, that it can divide that this a sequence that i will put here in a sequence the value that will divide the highest index present at d okay now if my a of i is empty then only i will put, uh, fill in it okay that i have told you also in the explanation part of the approach if a of d minus 1, what does this mean? This means that a of d minus 1 is also empty. That is the highest index that the value that is placed, getting placed in the highest index value, that is also empty. Okay. Then we will simply, we can do that. Now what this mean here? What this mean here? 
that if a of d minus 1 is not empty this means that a of i will be same as a of d of minus 1 only it cannot be more than a of d minus 1 or less than d of minus 1 when we are storing the prime number this means that a of i will be same as the value of the highest index then only it can they can divide each other that's why i have written here this thing if it is not so then in a of i i will store next prime number now this p comes in the play the next prime number after 0 will be 2 so that will be stored in this a of i okay if this a of d minus 1 is not empty now why i have written d minus 1 why i am not writing d because i am starting i am taking the uh, input from 0 base indexing and it will be given by 1 so that's why i have taken this as Z, d minus 1 okay b d minus 1 is equal to b of i and p will be equal to b of i now what is this here that if this is not that a of d minus 1 is empty then in a of i i will store this uh, next prime number and sorry this a of d minus 1 will be equal to a of i and this p will be equal to a of i okay so this is the implementation for this question and what if we, what we are showing in next prime number in next prime we are simply calculating if n is less than equal to 1 we will simply return 2 otherwise we will check while it is not prime number while we are not getting prime number we will find it and in this find number we are just calculating the next prime number okay this is the only thing that we are doing here and rest will be same and at last we will print the a sequence Yes, you can see that at last we have seen printed the last sequence, the, the whole sequence, uh, and we, at last we have given the new line so that it uh, for every test case from new line it begins. Okay, it starts printing from new line. So, this was the complete implementation for this question. I hope you would have been able to understand. If you have some doubt in this ex explanation implementation, just try to watch the video again and try to perform some test cases on your own on the pen and paper on uh, on the paper with the help of pen then it will be great then you will automatically understand everything and the only thing that we have to observe in this that we have to fill the next prime number there was nothing else in the question okay thank you